Good day, welcome to Vaughn TV. I'm Michael Giubanitadabas. We're in our Experience Center today with the special guest, Eric. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Mike. Now, Eric, you're with RepTech. Yes, I am. A representative of Lutron. That's right. Okay, and today we're partaking in a fun little event we're calling the Lumen Lesson, correct? That's right. Okay, it's gonna be a three trial event. Um, it's basically an interactive and educational experience on the value of dimming lights. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with Eric. Thank you very much. All right, so um, yeah, today, uh, as Mike said, we want to do a, a little interactive game, a little a brain teaser, so to speak. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give you 30 seconds to look at the lighting in this space and write down on a little piece of paper you guys have whether or not the lights got brighter, dimmer, or if they stayed the same. And after each trial, we're going to do this trial three times. So after each trial, give me the piece of paper, I'm going to put it aside, and we're going to repeat, do it over. So after three trials, we're going to collect all the answers, look at them, and uh, let's find out whether or not we actually can tell if the lights got brighter, dimmer, or stayed the same. And we're going to do this uh, by proving it with the device here that we have called a light meter. And this light meter here basically shows like, the values of the light. So as, so we, actually as have we move hard it data. around, you can see that the light gets bright and then it goes dim. So this is a, this is a, a scientific tool. And we're not going to get into uh, exactly how it works, but um, we'll, we'll get the camera to see the value of the, of the lights privately, not for you guys privately at the beginning, and then we'll share the, the value at the end of each trial so that we all know what it is. And that way the audience uh, at home can actually know the, whether or not you guys got it right before uh, we even know. Okay, so Eric, so just general, what's the main point we're trying to get across today? Well, I think what's going to happen, I'm hoping what's going to happen, uh, is that we're not going to be consistent in how we interpret the light level. We th some of us might think it gets brighter, some might think it gets the same, and that inconsistency, I think, will, will prove that we can't actually tell the difference uh, in the light level, which therefore means uh, we might be able to uh, make some interesting conclusions, which we'll make uh, at the end, hopefully, about uh, dimming. And in general, basically, by having a house on dimmers, every room on dimming, right, you're saving whatever the energy is, right, and your eyes actually can't even perceive the difference in light levels. Right, so you're saving energy with the same type of lighting in the room. That's, that's what you're trying to get through today. That, that, that's that's Basically, hopefully it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's hopefully it. Okay. So with, with that said, um, I mean, I think the atmosphere in here is pretty much set. Um, we, we have our guests today. Guys, guests. thanks for coming. Okay. All right. So now... Now, Eric, just a, just a quick little thing. This is telling us what? Just so, so the audience can know what this level is telling yeah, us. Yeah, th that's telling us how bright the room is. Okay. So at least people know what this meter is all about. That's right. It's telling you the intensity of the light. Okay. Okay. So, Mike. Okay. So I'm going to control yes. the lights from here. You're gonna you're gonna make the uh, the adjustment yep. and uh, let's begin. So uh, I'm, we're gonna give you now 30 seconds and your objective is to determine whether or not the lights got brighter, dimmer, or stayed the same. Okay. So tell me when you're ready. Go ahead. Okay. I just clicked it. Now we play the Jeopardy music, and uh, we see what's happening. Hey guys, start writing. So uh, we want to know if it got brighter or dimmer, just by what I simply clicked. So when you get your answers, let's just uh, flip them over and pass them over to me. And uh, at the end, we will... Remember, there's, there's, no, there's no right or wrong. Yeah, there's we, no right we, or wrong. Is, I mean, we just want to know. This, this is, is a study. Uh, experimental. Okay. So, I think it's been 30 seconds. And uh, the light meter actually right now, it says 353. Okay? That's, that's, that's the value it's saying right now. 353. So, okay. what we're going to do now is... Uh, Let's just, you know, adjust the lights a bit. I'll turn, I'll dim some down, off. We'll see that the light meter is actually doing some weird things here. And now we're just going to reset the lights to a new value. Okay. 
You see, is it showing the, the lumen levels? Okay. Okay, so in that time, uh, hopefully maybe you guys happen to know this little tidbit of knowledge that uh, when you, as you dim your lights, you're actually saving about 10% energy. So dimming is beneficial, uh, provided that uh, you want the lights to be dimmed. Uh, and let's also do one time. note, when you dim, you're also prolonging the lamp life. Yes, that's yeah. true. That's Ooh. true. Go on. Okay, so let's do another trial now. So um, if you're ready, let's begin. Trial number two. And Mike, go ahead. So are the lights getting brighter, dimmer, or staying the same? Thirty seconds. That's tough. Okay. Hey. <laughs> it is. I told you guys it'd be tough. You know, because everybody has this illusion. As soon as you dim, the room gets darker, right? We keep looking at the light. Yeah, it's very hard because it looks like it's getting brighter. Yeah. But it's really just your eyes are adjusting to what you're looking at. Yeah. Kind of throws you off a little bit, but wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, there we go. Look at the value there. So the value right now in the room and the baseline that we used in the previous test may or may not be the same as this one so the value here at 385 does not actually represent the fact that it really was brighter this time because you reset it but we can tell you right now that relative to the last end result that this end result is brighter than the last end result at 385 interesting Okay, and one okay. more. And one so more. now we're going to do it. Uh, so, so another piece of information, again, to your point there, Mike, that yes, as you dim your lights, not only are you saving energy, but in fact, you're actually making your lamps last longer. So these incandescent lamps, for example, if you dim them down 10%, you're going to make them last twice as long. That's double the lamp life. Yeah. I mean, what would you think? If you dimmed your lights 10%, would you expect that the lights are going to last 10% longer? That's what I would expect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. most people actually expect, but the fact is the lamps actually double in life. So yeah. a 1,000 hour lamp could last 2,000 hours. Or in fact, if you dim down to 50%, your lamp life is gonna grow 20 times. So a, a 1,000 hour lamp now becomes a 20,000 hour lamp just by dimming down to 50%. Okay, let's do another uh, reset of the lighting. Turn everything off and bring everything back to a, a new uh, level. All right, and Mike, we're good there. So, okay, so the camera's captured the, uh, the current light value, and let's do the trial again. 30 seconds, last one. Are the lights getting brighter? Are they getting dimmer? And that was our last trial, right? The same. Mm -hmm. That's right, last trial. Everybody got their answers in? Okay. <laughs> you got it? And you, yeah. You got so the number there? We can capture the, uh, the new the, lumen just, level. Let's just the final? The the backlight. Well, now we can actually share the, the results. Mm -hmm. So it's 358 is the, the current level. So let's now, uh, let's do some review. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. So trial one. So right. So in yeah. trial one, the lights actually stayed the same. Huh. So let's see what everyone wrote. Yeah. Orville, you said brighter. they got brighter. Roy, you said they got darker. Oris, you said same. they stayed the same. Good call. Steve, brighter. Tony, darker. So there so, you go. So it's inconsistent. So that's the first trial. Okay, second trial. Let's see what we got on the second trial. Because on the second so trial... So we have one person that got it around the first trial. That's right. Second one? On the second trial, what, what did we do? Did we make the lights brighter or dimmer? We went brighter. I think we went brighter, you're right. Brighter, yeah. So, Tony, you said that they stayed the same. <laughs> Steve, you said they stayed the same. 
Oris. You Oris. said they got it. They got brighter. Oh, Oris two for you got two. The eye. He cheated. He probably installed these. Orville, you said they Orville's stayed the same. same. And, and Roy, Roy you the said same. they stayed the same. <laughs> okay. So again, it proves a point. It does. Trial three. Let's see what <laughs> trial three says. Okay. Trial three. Just for the reference, we made the lights dimmer. And what do we have? Oris. Oris same. same. Wrong. Steve, dimmer. Yes. Nice. He's one. Tony, dimmer. Dimmer. Roy, same. same. And Orville, same. same. Yeah, but Tony copied off mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is, this is a fairly good scientific evidence that yeah. out of this sample of five people, we can fairly uh, conclusively say that the human eye cannot perceive the difference between light at 100% and light at 90%. And therefore, we can save energy, we can get the benefits of dimming 10%, saving 10% energy, and doubling our lamp life without even knowing the difference. So tell me what other green technology can do that, where there's benefit with no sacrifice. So by simply adding a little dimmer, $25, $30 investment, mm -hmm. you know, you'll, you're having a payback type of thing. You can get a payback and also, but, but I think even more importantly is that, that convenience and ambiance that, that, uh, that you're achieving. And even uh, if, if you get into our more advanced systems where you can control and monitor your lights from things like iPads, you can actually start to now uh, have safety and security benefits with yeah. your system. Um, and again, all the lighting can be controlled by here or Marco from this keypad, right? So again, we invite you guys come by, press the green button, and you know, see if you can see the, the difference. Um, Eric, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me again, Mike. Guys, thanks for taking this. Welcome. I'm Michael G. Bonitatibus, introducing you to the world of electrical distributors.